Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carolina and today we are going to do a gender prediction test and all based on old wives tales. So I have here a few tests uh, based on old wives tales and that will tell me if I'm having a boy or a girl. What is a prediction? And I'm going to actually find out what the baby uh, will be tomorrow, which is April 26th. Maybe by the time that you guys see this video, uh, it's past that date and I will know already and we will do a gender reveal, so stay tuned for that. Um, I think the letters are too small, so I hope you guys can see it. Um, if not, then I'll probably keep count. Okay, if you guys can see the letters, I'm still going to read it out loud and let you guys know where I'm at and what it is, right? Okay, let's get started. Uh, you want to join me? Mm -hmm. All right, my daughter wants to join me, so she's uh, finishing up her pizza. Come on this side. One of the tests is what her opinion is and what my son's opinion is on the gender, right? So the way that I formatted this board is it has the test. On this side, it will be girl, and this side, it will be boy's uh, answer, right? So whichever one it is, I will circle. Okay, so let's start. Um, I might do, should I circle them with the colors? Let's try. Yes. Okay, if not, we'll do the black. Okay, so I think according to the Chinese calendar, calendar it goes based off of the how old you are when you conceived and the year, right? So uh, December 2018, I think. Uh, I think mine had said girl. Let's make sure. What is it going to say, boy or girl? What do you think? Girl. Well, I am 26, and let's look for December. So it says it's a girl for for the Chinese calendar. Yeah. So we have one for girl. Can I have the pink? Yes. I don't think these washable crayons work on this board, but we're going to try. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Move, mommy. You're in the cowboy. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, sorry guys, we got interrupted by little Mr. Liam. <laughs> <laughs> he tripped over the tripod and the camera is so heavy it came down so I had to fix it. Um, anyway, so the Chinese calendar says that the gender of the baby will be a girl. So we have one for girl, right? And I don't think you guys can see that. So let me circle it with this black pen. What marker? So can you see? <laughs> I hope you guys can see it because you guys are like, what is that? Okay, so the next one is the Mayan calendar. What does the Mayan calendar say that I'm having? Let's take a look. So according to the Mayan gender prediction a calendar, it says you have to calculate it based on the age that you were um, and the month of conception. So if it's an even or an odd number of your age, or an even or odd number um, for the month of conception. So December is 12, so that's even. And I am 26, so I think that's even. Yes, that's even. <laughs> so even and an even um, make a girl. Yeah. So another point for a girl. Okay. Yeah. This video is going to be very choppy. I don't know why today it's just not meant to make this video. But if I don't make this video today, uh, <laughs> there is no other day I can make it and it will be too late because we will find out the gender of the baby tomorrow and it will be pointless to make this video. So we are making this video with the quickness and at a random time you're going to move the tripod. Okay. Uh huh, and uh, I hope you guys can see it. I hope it's not too sloppy. I'm gonna edit this as best as I can. Anyways, <laughs> so the baby's heart rate is it less than 140 or greater than 140? Um, the first ultrasound, I think even up to the second ultrasound, the heartbeat was greater than 140. It was actually like in the 170s. So that says that it's going to be a boy. <coughs> Wait, is that right? Dude, 
I'm so good at math, the only thing that gets me is the greater than and less than signs. I always have to look that up. Um, I don't know. Comment down below if I'm the only one or if you do that too. Um, I'm pretty good at math and the only thing that I forget are the less than and greater than symbols. So yeah, that's a greater than. I'm not tripping. <laughs> okay, so yes. It is greater than 140, so it is a boy. One point for a boy, two points for a girl so far. So what am mom's cravings? What am I craving in this pregnancy? Am I craving sweet or am I craving spicy? And I didn't put, uh, what's the other word that they use? Sweet or salty? Um, I just don't like salty. Um, I don't like that word. Um, I like sweet or spicy. Okay, so I've been craving a lot of spice. A lot of spice. So another point for a boy. So they're tied right now. Even, even. <laughs> and my my baby's upset. Why? Why are you upset? I want a girl. Okay, so she wants a girl, and we're not gonna get to her until the bottom. So I'm not gonna circle it yet. Um, yeah. So I've been craving a lot of spicy, you know, hot Cheetos, unhealthy things, also healthy spicy things, <laughs> but everything spicy. Occasionally, I do want something sweet, like a donut. But, um, or fruit, but it's not often. I, I, I crave spicy every day. Anyways, okay, am I carrying high or am I carrying low? Oh, I think that I'm carrying, you know what? I don't, I don't even know how to tell. Um, I know that the baby is low right now. Um, I would say, personally, I would say low okay but let me show you guys my bump and uh, i'll let you be the judge tell me in the comments do you think i'm high or i'm low okay i don't even know if you guys can tell can you guys tell do i have to like squat okay you guys all right i don't even know if you guys can see me but there we go i think i'm carrying low Mom. Yes, honey? I see the bump. Is it low or is it high bump? This. It's low? It's yeah, high. It's high? Okay. Well, we'll just give it to the boy because I don't know why I think I'm lower. Well, I feel the baby is lower. And, um, you know what? No. I don't know. I can't tell these things. So I think I'm personally carrying low, not high. So I'm just going to put that. Uh, mom's intuition what is my intuition um, I feel like it's gonna be a boy to be honest um, uh, their dad it was, my boyfriend has always thought uh, that it's gonna be a girl and my mom thinks that it's gonna be a girl as well but I just kind of always thought it's gonna be a boy so we can circle boy so boy hey what are you doing sorry guys my son moved the camera again so, um, <coughs> sorry guys, that I'm sick too. So we gotta deal with it, right? <laughs> and my daughter over here is getting anxious because she's like, the boys are getting all the points. Um, so we have four for boys and two for girls. Okay, um, am I sleep, uh, what side am I sleeping on? Am I sleeping on my right or am I sleeping on my left? Um, I cannot stand sleeping on my right. I want to sleep on my left side. It just feels more uh, comfortable for me. So, boys gets another circle. <laughs> All right. So, um, five points for boys, two for girls. Okay. So, no shape. Is it the same or is it bigger? Um, my nose tends to get wider when I'm pregnant, but I haven't really noticed a change. A change. Um, in my nose yet so I'm gonna say it stayed the same um, so that's another point for a girl Yay! okay here let us let them see <laughs> all right all right all right all right so my belly shape um, am I wide or am I round this is another one that I kind of don't really know I don't know how to tell because yes my tummy is round but I also feel wide. But it just feels like it's the stomach. Ugh. Well, how do I feel? 
Um, I feel like it's just in the tummy. I feel like it's just in the tummy, so I'm gonna say it's round. <laughs> I don't know, you guys saw my tummy. Um, you guys will decide. Uh, am I round or am I wide? Or like a basketball or a watermelon. I don't know what okay. you just So the Y would be watermelon, the round would be a basketball. Okay guys, I hope you guys can see me and unfortunately, um, I left off where it said Sophia and Liam I think. So where it said Sophia and Liam, I asked my kids what they thought um, the gender of the baby was uh, going to be. If they were going to have a sister or a brother. And my camera, I kept going until like the outro and like saying goodbye to you guys and then when I went to go stop the the camera it had automatically stopped itself so it stopped when I was about to ask them and show you guys what they thought and Sophia my daughter thinks that I'm having a girl um, and my son I asked him if he thought I was gonna have a sister or a brother for him and he said brother so um uh, in total, I can't show you guys because my daughter already erased the board. <coughs> my daughter already erased the board. So I cannot show you guys what was on the board anymore. So girls had a total of four um, points and boys had a total of seven points. So boys obviously wins, but this is just a prediction gender a test. Uh, based on the old wives tales um, so we're not a 100% sure but the prediction says that it's a boy so my daughter's pretty upset and she's like why why is it a boy why do boys win and I'm like oh we can't really control this right it's just a prediction but tomorrow if it is a boy um, I just hope she's not heartbroken <laughs> whatever it is we're gonna love it they're gonna be big brother and big sister and I'm sure they're gonna be happy uh, whatever the baby is girl or boy whatever um, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I'm so sorry it's all over the place <laughs> um, we are gonna do the gender reveal in a few days actually tomorrow I hope because we do find out tomorrow so I hope tomorrow we do end up doing it and until next time I'll probably guys I'll probably see you guys in my gender reveal video all right bye <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,